Why did you decide to, to go out and help? Well, I think it was twofold. Um, first of all, I, I grew up um, with parents that always gave back to their community. So that sense of community and helping neighbors, helping neighbors was something that I grew up with. And now as an adult, being in the mental health program at the College of Staten Island, social justice is part of our protocol. So that's another part that was, was deep in my heart. But I also saw firsthand the devastation and the need that was out there. I, I got to work with these people from day one when the storm hit at the shelter. I knew their names. I knew the neighborhoods. I knew what they needed, and there was no way that I could turn away from them. But I mean, you, I mean, you, you, you have a seeing eye dog. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, you know, there are a lot of people who say, well, look, I can, there's nothing I can do, or I'd like to do something, but I, don't, but I mean, of all people who has a reason not to do anything, uh, you would have a million reasons, and yet, I mean, you just started cooking up stuff, right? That's right. Um, we had, I had one particular friend who, was, who reached out to myself and to my classmates and told me, look, Mary Beth, um, there's nothing out here. There's no services out here. There's no hot food. And that's all I needed to know. I said, Jennifer, I'll be there as soon as I can. So I started cooking food, knocking on my neighbor's doors. What do you have that you can possibly donate? I called up another friend of mine, Janet Perez, um, and she was like, I can, I can cook this. We went to the store. We bought as much as we could afford, and we bought uh, coffee, milk, and that was it, and we brought that down to um, New Dort Beach. And, and, and when I met when I met Mary Beth, it was freezing out, and <laughs> she's there. Cold. She's been there I all saw. day, and it, you know she's there till late at night. Everybody else has left, and she is looking for a ride so she can take the extra stuff that was left over and send it out to Breezy Point in Queens. Um, which I mean, it just blew me away. I just wanted to, to have you You're here. Incredibly and just thank inspiring, you. yeah. really. Thank you. You're an inspiration. Amazing.